revolution. But it, I know it's taking over. Revolution. But it, that's why I'm telling everybody worldwide. This is my world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revolution. Welcome, Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. It is January 10th, 2016, and we're going to do a tutorial on the amazing Climate Viewer 3D. This is the future of activism. We've got a 3D globe here. I'm going to go ahead and just click on the map, make that pop-up disappear, and uh, as you can see, you just drag your mouse in and out by holding your left mouse button or control on the Mac. Pull it up and down. You can zoom in. Left mouse click. Drags it around. Over here on the sidebar at the very top, you will see that this will open up the sidebar menu. It turns orange when you click on it. At the very top, we have an imagery date chooser. Click on that. You can choose the day that your pictures will appear. And uh, we have different categories. So let's go ahead and do the satellite. If we click on satellites, satellite imagery, and Modus Terra, that is a NASA satellite, corrected reflectance, true color. True color is what you see with your naked eye. This is what you get. So we're going to zoom in here. And as you zoom in, it will refine itself and get sharper. And then at the very top, we have three buttons. Um, if you click on the first one, the trash icon, that will clear the layer off. If you hit the zoom icon right here, it will zoom yourself back out. And then the next one is the share button. We're going to do that next. Finally, you have a submit your own report on the report map. If you pop that up, it will bring up our crowd map where you can report your own uh, you know, items. You have uh, everything from news, emergency alerts, climate engineering, nuclear, big brother, all that sort of stuff. If you click on the, any one of the reports, they'll look like this. And you can see that, you know, somebody posted here, hey man, you don't have this harp in Brazil on your map, but actually I do. He didn't, obviously didn't see the other category, but all of these will appear on our layer menu right here under alerts, climate viewer reports. Um, we also have disasters, earthquakes, and all that sort of thing. So let's bring that up. Earthquakes from last week. The bigger the earthquake, the bigger the icon. When you click on the icons, it'll pop up a little window. It'll tell you this is a magnitude 3.8. Click here for more info. And uh, let's go back to the layer menu. I'm going to collapse that. Up here at the very top, if you're to scroll to the bottom, the last icon will scroll you to the top. The other one will collapse all of the folders back, so it resets it to where you were. The next icon is a sun, so you can turn the sunlight on, see where the sun is today. And then uh, over here, this is the info tab, tells you all about the app. The video you're watching right now will appear here. Got to update the tutorial. How it's all open source technology and a little bit about supporting us. So you can check that out at, at gofundme.com slash climate viewer if you want to support us. I'd greatly appreciate it. Over here, um, we got my YouTube channel with a whole bunch of videos and uh, the Twitter feed. Next, we have uh, the sharing tab where you can share this website. It'll only share the website, not the special sharing I'm about to show you. Our uh, Climate Viewer chat, and of course, you can leave us a comment at the bottom. Finally, back to the beginning, we have the layer menu. So, alerts, we have everything from disasters, volcanoes, fires, you know, earthquakes, weather. We have weather alerts, we have weather radar. Turn that on real quick. And what you'll see is, this is the next rad radar for America right now. And then uh, you can click the folder icon next to any one of these layers, and usually they'll tell you about where this came from. This is Iowa State University of Science and Technology, MesoNet. That's where I got the data from, and you can see it's a web map service. And uh, there's some sliders here. You can actually make it transparent if you want to see through it. And uh, you can do all kinds of fun stuff with this. So we turn the contrast up, make it really sharp. Turn the saturation all the way down, makes it black and white. Pretty fun stuff. I'm going to turn that off real quick and we're going to go back down here. You got radar animations, surface observations such as which way the wind's blowing, a um, whole bunch of cool stuff. Precipitation, you can see you know, how much rain fell, where the snow is, what the drought monitor looks like, and then back to the satellite. So we're going to do a, an example with the satellite. I'm going to turn it back on and we're going to zoom in right here. And say I see something pretty cool, I want to show it to somebody. I can zoom into right there, come up here to the top bar, and you'll see share this map. When you click on that, this is a special sharing link. It will share your screen exactly the way it looks right now. You can right click this and copy that link, paste it on uh, um, Facebook, Twitter, all that sort of stuff. You click on that link, this is what you'll get. It'll load up the map, 
exactly the way it was with the layers turned on that you currently had available. And it'll put them here at the top, it says shared layers, that way if you're wanting to show it to somebody, hey, that's how you do it. So let's give a different example. I'm gonna go up here, hit the trash icon, clear all the layers off, you'll see they turn themselves off. And we're gonna come down here to electromagnetic, and I'm gonna turn on missile defense radars. This is uh, Ronald Reagan's Star Wars Strategic Defense Initiative. As you can see, there's our missile defense radars for America and worldwide. Fun stuff, guys. You will not find this information anywhere else on the net. This is special. So I'm gonna come down here to this guy. And this is an ANFPS 85 at uh, Elgin, El Eglin Air Force Base. There's some photos of it, but I wanna show it to somebody. So I'm talking to this about to somebody on uh, you know Twitter and they're like, hey man, I wanna see that thing. So I'm gonna zoom down here to it. I'm gonna come up here to the layer menu, scroll all the way to the bottom to base layer. And we're gonna turn on the Bing Maps aerial with labels. You can see now we have a satellite image of it, and there we go. So that's what it looks like. There's the photos. Pretty cool and all the information about it. Now I wanna share that with somebody. Again, I come up here, hit the share button. There's the link, the short link. When you click it, this is what you get. Turns on both layers, zooms you right down to it. Been trying to do that forever. <laughs> Too cool stuff, man. I'm learning a lot about programming. I'm loving what I'm doing. So in the satellites, we have satellite, um, different you know satellites from NASA. Um, it goes visible water vapor and long red information um, infrared and of course we have some satellite um, animations now check this bad boy out let's come on out here and as you can see that loads up an animation that down here on the bottom you have a timeline if you drag that timeline you can actually animate it and see it move pretty fun stuff all right so let's clear that off and let's come down here to pollution and you'll see that there's three categories fossil fuel which has all of the fracking uh, wells in america the um, national recent resource defense Co um, coalitions drinking water impacts so these are places where you know fossil fuel or otherwise has you know damaged somebody's wells um, people got poisoned then we have uh, coal power plants and coal ash ponds all right and as you can see, the fracking wells have now popped up. That is a lot of fracking wells, guys. Look at that crazy stuff there. And if you actually want to see those fracking wells, you can come down here again to base layer, turn on the Bing Maps with Ariel, and you'll see. This is what they look like. I mean, look at that junk, guys. That is a million wells. Now, of course, this map doesn't cover all of the wells because it would break your computer, but it gives you a general idea of where they're at, and as you can see, the earth is stained with wells everywhere. Unbelievably amount, unbelievable amount of uh, wells there. So I'm gonna come back out, and what you'll see though, is here's your fracking wells, and they tend to also coincide with where the drought is currently and where weather modification occurs. Down here in geoengineering, you can turn on weather modification programs worldwide, and you'll see that all along the west coast there's your weather modification um there's a whole bunch more here that you can jump into i'm going to turn those off real quick so we can keep this computer from blowing up while i'm making a video and under nuclear you can see all of the nuclear reactors worldwide if you click on them they will have photos pretty cool stuff this is a uh, cooper uh, nuclear power plant and it's underwater you see that so a guy asked me the other day, he says, well, you know, with all this flooding that we're having right now, um, is it possible that some of the nuclear power plants are underwater, like the one in that photo? Well, to figure that out, I'm going to come up here to weather, and I'm going to click on precipitation and U.S. river flood levels. And this is a very large layer. It's going to take a minute to load up, and there you go. Where you see red, those are flooding rivers. Green is good. Now, I was looking at this yesterday. It may have changed. It has not. You come down here. There's your nuclear power plant. They're usually located near rivers because they need the water to cool them. And as you can see, this one is currently at 81.9 feet. Moderate flood stage is at 80 feet. So it is flooding. At 74 feet, it is flooding. So major flood stage is 84 feet. It is right on the cusp of that. So there you have a nuclear power plant. Let's take a look at it real quick. I'll close this little sidebar and go down to the Bing Maps again. I'm going to turn that on. And then just scroll to the top. I'm going to hit this arrow right here. It'll kick me back to the top. And as you can see, there's your nuclear power plant. 
there's a river and it's flooding so that's a problem so th what this map allows you to do is take a lot of different information overlay it together and see how it relates and in this case we're just looking at river flooding and nuclear power plants now of course we have the nuclear power plants worldwide there's a whole lot of them um, and uh, that's what that's what we do with this thing so I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna clear the layers off again by hitting the trash icon if you have a very large layer it might take a second to clear it off I'm gonna collapse all the menus again and then we're gonna come down to surveillance now this is something you're not gonna see on any other map world in, in the world government spy facilities worldwide these are NSA facilities such as the U NSA Utah Data Center complete with photos and links click at your own uh, uh, choices there so um, what I did was I made this map before Edward Snowden's revelations and at the time it was called Echelon so I started to try to find all of the Echelon facilities worldwide and uh, there's quite a few this map is an, a work in progress but what you also notice if you click here under submarine underwater communication cables that a lot of these NSA facilities are right where the cables link up so they can monitor worldwide transmissions take that new world order um, and you know this is something that you know concerns a lot of people so I mapped it out and uh, we also under the Big Brother have DHS Fusion Center so that's Department of Homeland Security um, UAV drones over America and then again if you click the folder icon next to any of these they'll tell you about them so in this case we're doing the drones you can see that this came from the Electronic um, Frontier Foundation's map of domestic drone flights this was obtained from a Freedom of Information Act request and then there's military drones and then a little bit about the drones so you can see photos of them pretty cool stuff um, and you know each one of these layers lots and lots of information on it um, it would take you a month to go through them all but this is a reference this is a resource that people can use to um, you know show people stuff about it again I have it talked about over here if you click on the sidebar you'll see that there's other information like this is the home page for the website we're looking at the 3d globe you're looking at and then the mobile map is right here we also have a geoengineering timeline and then research pages on you know geoengineering ionospheric heaters nuclear reactors surveillance in the new world order propaganda EMF health effects and disaster preparation information there um, this is a public um, resource for um, people who don't know about this stuff if you want to talk about geoengineering and uh, weather modification when you click these on you're, what you're gonna see let's go ahead and reset because I want to I want to fly around um, whenever you first come to the website and you click on these it'll actually fly you down to them these are cloud seeding generators across America if you look here on the map source you'll see that there's the information where I obtained these um, and here this is from Colorado Water um, Conservation Board uh, each one of these is well referenced you can see that as well here that's where I got the stuff from we have the Grand Mesa Col um, Colorado cloud seeding generators the Humboldt River Basin cloud seeding generators Walker River Basin Santa Barbara California and Idaho power, com power company cloud seeding generators when you turn all of these on what you're going to notice is that right now in America we have all this flooding on the East Coast and all of these generators are working from October to March of each year so currently all of these generators are pumping silver iodide into the sky to make snow on top of their mountains out there that's called snowpack augmentation what we also know is that right now we have severe flooding on the East Coast so because the uh, West Coast is so scrapped for water um, the power companies and water resource boards pay for that stuff and uh, we catch hell on the East Coast as a result I'm only about 50% of the way through mapping these out and already we can see that there are a large amount of cloud seeding generators um, on the West Coast there so that's a concern and that's why it's on the map again we can also see the NOAA reported weather modification activities for 2012 through 2004 and you can see that almost all the weather modification occurs on the west coast because the east coast doesn't have that problem but unfortunately the east coast bears the brunt of all of the flooding so that's uh that's definitely something for concern there in the electromagnetic section we have missile defense radars we have uh, let's clear this off real quick and i'll just turn them on radars ionospheric heaters harp the super darn 
which is a super dual auroral radar network, um, Digisigns, ELF and VLF transmitters, lasers, NEXRAD Doppler radar, terminal weather, uh, Doppler weather radar, joint surveillance system radar. What you can see real quick is that's a lot of electric energy in the sky. Millions and billions of watts. And uh, we continue to just click them on and you can see that that is quite a bit of electromagnetic energy in the sky. Finally, we got down here at the um, observatories and radars. You can see things like the EVLA. Let's turn on the satellites real quick for that. Pretty cool stuff. And you come down here and you'll see, there it is, the satellite radars worldwide. Fun stuff. I have too much fun mapping this stuff out. I've been working on this for about five years. And pretty soon we're going to be bringing the ability for other people to put their own um, information up on the map. Let's do one real quick. See if I can get this to load for the video because this takes a bit of energy. Um, most people know about their cell phone coverage and they love it, but these cell phones are also pumping out millions and billions of watts um, worldwide and it's a concern for you know people locally. But did you know that there's this many cell phones in America? I mean it blew my mind when I first saw it. This is from uh, 2012 FCC and if you click on any one of these you can see the information on them occasionally and usually you can come right down to the ground and see them yourself and there you go everyone's deadly accurate people um, I pride myself on being accurate on this website and I hope that you will use it as a reference for other people but that is a lot of electromagnetic energy mind-blowing amount so um let's cut that off and then finally down here at the bottom we have my reading map this is George Stiller's work um, he's got several years into this stuff with abandoned, sunken ships, ancient ruins, ghost towns, architecture, conquering and wars, co crime sprees, disease outbreaks. You know, the, the list goes on. It's an encyclopedia of stuff that you won't see anywhere else. And I think it's fascinating. Democracy of chaos, places affected by the 2013 U.S. government shutdown. Fortune 500 companies that received government subsidies to avoid paying taxes. Want to know who they are? There they are fascinating stuff he worked his butt off on that and uh, Google deleted all of his maps so we got in touch and I put all of his maps right back up on the internet take that Google um, finally we have the other category I'm gonna put um, more stuff in this eventually but um, it's got you know marine traffic uh, buoy tracker um, things like that we do want to put flight tracking back up on here it's a big uh, you know concern for a lot of people want to see that stuff so we're gonna try to get an unfiltered flight tracker on there um, but, you know, this is a unique website. There's nothing like it. I hope that you guys will support us. Um, again, that is at, at GoFundMe.com slash ClimateViewer. Um, we haven't gotten a lot of donations yet. I hope that we will get to that $5,000 mark. We do intend to open this up to the public so that other people can get involved, uh, map their own things out. And this is stuff that you can take to court. This is stuff that's that accurate. And I hope that, you know, you guys will check us out, GoFundMe.com slash ClimateViewer and uh, help us out that would be great so that's the tutorial um, I think we covered everything you, you know this should be much easier for people to use if you have any suggestions of how I could make it easier you know for make it as my um, wife puts it grandmother approved um, shoot it out to me and if you're a programmer please get in contact with me I would greatly appreciate any help you could provide us we are on github again I'm Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. Um, I created this for the public. I hope that you guys will use this information and spread it around. The website is climateviewer.org. Support us, share us, help us grow.